has the full cards here. Live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go. So in front of me today, 1996 Metallic Impression Super Mario with an exclamation point. Tin, a Rin Tin Tin, swing it like Errol Flynn. So this is a very unique product. I stumbled upon it on Facebook, thought I would pop over to eBay, buy it for like under $10. What's really deceiving about it is it's really not much bigger than a card. It is so small in person, but it's very cool. So within a box break, we would expect these five Mario Lemieux metal collection cards. I don't know much about this product. I do know for a fact that there was a Babe Ruth tin at some point in time. I'm still illing from my cold, from my flu. Uh, I'm going to the game. Um, I'm gonna see the Islanders uh, on Long Island um, on Thursday. So I have to stop illing by then. I'll be in the corner about 13 rows up um, to the left of Sorokin to watch Matthews. So I'll be there, I'll be wearing funky glasses, so I just have to get well by then. Uh, in the interim, I decided to pop this puppy open super quickly. I figured this would be a super easy break for me to do. It'd be interesting for you guys as well. So let's have at it. This is fascinating. And I'm telling you guys, it costs like $7.99. It costs nothing. So let's see what it says. Why metallic impressions? Durable, lasting value, exceptional quality, unique design, brilliant graphic reproduction. I don't even know the company, to be honest with you. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. I'm already satisfied. Patent protection, okay. And then it has a nice little note within it. Uh, you guys can read that um, by freeze framing it if you prefer to. Um, very metallic. And let's see the cards. Wowzer. Wowzer. So here are the cards. So wait a second. So here we go. Should I take them out of the plastic? I think I might just keep them in, right? I'll keep them in. So we have five cards. They say Super Mario with an exclamation uh, point or mark. And we have Wow, these are really cool. We have 1990s, 1990s Mario. And it has a little blurb on the back. It has a profile pic uh, with another blurb on the back. And they talk about his off-season conditioning. Okay, that's interesting. And look at this thing. Look at this thing. These are unbelievable. So, you know, I mean, it's one of these products whereby you would read the entirety of it. Another sort of candid close-up shot wearing the Jofa lid. So they talk about the scoring title and they reference Gretzky and their uh, competition. And then finally this one. And it's a description of uh, what the state of affairs were in 1996. Um, so let's see. So should I open one of these or just leave them as is? I'm tempted to just leave them as is and intact. Um, but if you look at them, I mean, they are very tinny, very, very tinny. Yep, um, I'm sure they bend quite easily actually. So yeah, I mean, would you buy this product? Should you buy this product for $7.99 on eBay? Why not if you're a Mario fan? I almost think this is a must have, like add this to your collection. This is really, really cool. Very cool. So that's basically it, guys. Really unique, really interesting. This blurb is actually funny as well, that they stand behind what they produce, period. Um, this is like very passioned and impassioned, and it's by the inventor, apparently, of these cards. I mean, it's cute. It's a nice little gift, I guess. And I will be breaking Upper Deck Ice, which is released, I believe, on Friday. I think OPG Base is coming out soon, so I'll try to do all these products. I'm just not feeling very well. So by the way, guys, I'm just mentioning this in passing because it was kind of funny and a bit bizarre. So I hit the dart the other day. I did some editing tricks. A lot of you guys know I was the first to introduce editing and breaks, right? So I did some tricks and it was just for fun and I yelled, let's go. Usually I yell what? On occasion, I often say let's go at the beginning of my videos. And the reason why I do it is because hockey players do it when they score. It's the same thing as come on in tennis, as you know, let's go is sort of a mainstay. Well, someone attacked me personally for it, saying it was gay that I would yell let's go, that it's dated. It's from 2019, using that term, let's go. I have to ask you guys, and I don't care how you guys communicate because I know it's generational. Different people from different cultures take offense or different people from different cultures say different things and communicate differently. I leave it to you guys to parse that. I don't care. I believe in freedom of speech as long as it isn't hate. 
But what do you think's more dated, calling someone gay or someone yelling, let's go, like every single hockey player does, like yelling, yes, sir, or F yeah, or whatever. And I'm just saying, if you're a first time commenter, stop with the ad hominems, man. Don't come at me with personal attacks. Comment constructively about the cards. This channel is about the cards or about the hobby or whatever you want to comment. You can go elsewhere, all over social media to demean people, to mock people, to troll people, to be negative, to tell them that they're dated and they're not up to the most current parlance. And I've been doing this since the 1970s. I use terms from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 2000s. I use all kinds of terms and I have a very broad viewership and I'm pretty proud of it, man. I'm pretty proud of it. And I don't have to just only focus on the newest of the new. And thus I break boxes like this. If you're cool with that, stay on my channel and you can comment constructively and thoughtfully. If you're not cool with that, I swear to God, you can go anywhere else on social media. I'm sick today, so maybe that's why I'm venting, but it was just ridiculous. So that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I have to be Four Cards Live, direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City. Just move on up. You were crazy,